Shepard? I just don't. The one I, I already I, I shared it yesterday. Did I tell you? No. The day I met Mark Shepard? No. I tell really quick. Mark. So. Mark. Do your Mark Shepard accent. Oh my god. <laughs> That was our interaction. Wow. wow. That sounds about right. Right, but then at San Diego Comic Con, my first time there, I was alone, just wandering the streets, and then, like a crowd of thousands of people. And I get his hand on my shoulder, and it's Mark, and he's like, Osric! You know, I had shaved my head, so I look completely different. He's like, this just proves you don't all look alike. <laughs> it was such a beautiful moment. <laughs> was he joking? No! <laughs> I mean, maybe I can't tell with him. It's the accent. It's hard to understand what it really is. is. What a shit. It was like so fun, and then he took me on like a Comic Con adventure. And Misha and Jim were there. Was... He doesn't know he's being racist. <laughs> I thought it was really it funny. It was an accident. I think that he was probably kidding. He's probably. He's a very smart man. He's very smart. Yeah. It's hard to tell that. Yeah. Um, I can't beat that. <laughs> if I got embarrassed easily, <laughs> I would never be allowed on that set. <laughs> so, uh, so no, I don't. I can't. Like when you think of those soul-sucking, shaming. I mean, <laughs> they mock me mercilessly, and I'm usually like, "Yeah, you're right. You got a point. Totally valid." Yeah. I think asshole. the reason that we keep getting asked back is that they can constantly make fun of us and we can take it. <laughs> like, they only want actors on that set that they can just go, that dumb, right? Don't, you dummy. Yeah, so, I, don't, I can't think of anything that's super embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and that says more about our lack of shame. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Devin. Um, I was wondering if you guys had any imaginary friends when you were younger, and if so, what were they like? Oh. I don't I, think I did. I did. I had stuffed animals that I was very. And okay, I'm 47 years old. I still have Hercules. Yeah. Oh. He's the worst. He's 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 all loved off except for his eyeballs. But um, but yeah, and I was very diligent with them. Like I had I had them. I had to arrange them and like. If I had a treat or snuck a treat, I they all got little tastes and they came with me everywhere. And when I had when I went to sleepovers, somebody came with me, and that didn't go over well once I was in high school. <laughs> Which should tell you a lot about the kind of child I was. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. So have, I come a long yeah. way. Yeah, you're winning. Secretly, like the teddy bears just in our green room. Um, I didn't have, no, I was the same, I didn't have imaginary friends, but I did have stuffed animals. I had a stuffed animal that I bought myself. I remember it was $70, and I was like, I'm fucking fancy. Because uh, I was probably 11, 10 or 11 maybe, and I, had a, I think I had a paper route, and so I paid for it with that, and it was a stuffed elephant named Nikolai, thank you, uh, Nikolai Aloysius Pachydermsky. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, I was not as creative. I had two things. One was a, a little koala stuffed animal that I named Koala. Uh, <laughs> oh, my daughter names things. Yeah, I had that one for years. And the other one was a, a re it was like a really dried up blanket, and I would suck the corners of it, <laughs> and like I would just like. Constantly Why rotate the corners yeah. until it got so gross that I guess my mom threw it away without telling me. I was so sad because I missed sucking those corners. <laughs> and it had to be like dry and crispy. I still remember the taste. <laughs> Good! Go, go suck on a corner. 
I don't know why they don't make like a Lay's potato chip flavor blanket. <laughs> also, if you'd be all over. I think I had it till I was like 13. <laughs> Lovey blanket lays. Yes. Lovey blanket lays. Lovey blanket lays. Gave me something to do. Okay. <laughs> oh, delicious. Thank you. Hi. I'm Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Hey. Since there seems to be an occurring theme of Mark Shepard here, this is a follow-up question to one of the questions asked yesterday. If you were, if you guys were to assume the role of Crowley, how would you change it, or how would you keep it true to Mark Shepard's portrayal? Change it while keeping it true to Mark Shepard's portrayal. I know. Is there anything Mark can't do, though? Really? I would make Crowley um, like a like a song and dance man. I would. I'd, he'd still be evil. He'd still be all the conniving things that Mark's brilliant at doing. But he'd sing and dance his he'd way through the he'd show. He'd bust out in show tunes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. No, wait. Are you? How are you asking again? I'm slow. The coffee hasn't kicked in. Are you asking me to rewrite Mark Shepard as Crowley still, or are you asking me to become Crowley? Well, that's confusing because isn't the 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 body informs like yeah that's I'm really so confused. confused can we about just imagine Mark now? Shepard doing things? <laughs> <laughs> I like the show tunes is really funny. Can't you just imagine him? Just like I can. That's the brilliance of it. Yeah. <laughs> that be so good. I'm gonna ask him to do that for me later. Okay, you do that. I'm mean, <laughs> gonna film that deal. Dunsies. Yeah, let, let, let's, let's stick with the Mark Shepard show tunes. Yeah. Show tune Shepard. Shepard. Yeah. Shepard. <laughs> Hi. Alliteration, it works. Hi. My name's Lilia. Um, I was wondering if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Spaghetti was just like straight up meatballs. Yeah. My kids would, when I was a kid, all the other kids were having like pizza parties or pancakes, and I always wanted spaghetti. I wanted spaghetti parties all the time. That's sexy. Yeah, right? That shit gets everywhere. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, 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 I think we established yesterday that I'm not good with one word answers, so I don't know. Yeah, this, I'm, I'm thinking of all the, like, the different things with all the like with a well-balanced nutritional diet, but now I, I, I'm just gonna have to go in. I've got to live off of it. Blanket corner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> brilliant. That's a brilliant answer. So Thank you. All faces are covered then. <laughs> That's gonna be my answer for everything that I don't know now. now. That's the new, I want yogurt! Yes. And blanket corner. corner. <laughs> I'm using that I mean, all. I need, I need a little emotional support, but I'm secure in my abilities to provide it for myself. Yep. Blanket corner. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hi. Amy. Amy. If you could play any other role in Supernatural of the opposite gender, who would you pick and why? Oh, I have literally so many options. <laughs> I want to play Lucifer uh, for two reasons. One, because Mark Pellegrino is so fucking good. I, I like he's inspiring. Like he's the kind of an actor that you watch and you ha and I have ideas while I'm watching. I have other ideas. I have ideas while I'm watching him that are of a creative. There's no way to. There's no way to clarify this. It's good. So um, the other thing is, I would really love to see what uh, innate femininity does to the aspect of Lucifer, because I think women are really, really, really capable of evil, and I would like to see how that manifests on Supernatural.
Uh, my first thought went to uh, to Elena Huffman's character, yes. badass queen Abaddon. Yeah, but I don't want to be that. Here. But I, I think I, I would have to do Charlie because <laughs> she had the best guest star episodes. You know, like yeah. with the LARPing and like all the gaming and the, like she got to play evil Charlie. Like that. Yeah, that's too fun. That's too much fun. Can't pass that up. Um, I don't know. I think I'd like to play Cass. <laughs> I just think it, I just think it, when Misha he, when he gets a chance to really play with that character, he's like, uh, what are you what are you doing? Here? What's going on? What's going on there? Like, we got her. We got her. I got her. I got her. We're okay. Um, I just think Misha is so funny. Like um, in the. Uh, what's the episode? The French, French mistake. mistake. Um, when you all say stuff, I'm like, ah! uh, he was so funny. That episode was so funny to me because, uh, well, because we know so many of the crew were, were buddies with the Supernatural crew, but also I live in Vancouver, so I also knew all the actors who were portraying the crew, and it was so funny to see my friends portraying my friends. <laughs> Excellent. It was such a brilliant episode, but Misha was so funny. And so, I don't know, I just think it's funny, the idea of getting to play both sides of like the straight man and then the comedic straight man as well. It'd be fun. Thank you. Yo. Hi, um, I was wondering, when you guys first became actors on the show, like, what did you think about the fandom? Did you think it was, like, kind of weird, or... The, what did we think about the fandom? Yeah, like, when you first started acting on the show, when you first found out about the fandom. I remember when I did uh, my first episode, it was about to air, and the writer, I had been on Twitter for, I don't know, a couple years probably, <laughs> like, ten followers, and the writer was like, SPN family, please welcome... Brianna Buckmaster to the episode, and I told, like, I was still getting notifications every time somebody tweeted at me on my phone, and it just was going, and my husband and I were like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I had no idea what was happening, I was like, Twitter, and I just was on Twitter for that afternoon, I was just like, who are these people? <laughs> Why are they talking to me? Uh, but I remember it was that first moment of like, oh shit, this is a big deal, man. <laughs> Even then, I think after that episode, like I think I gained like 800 followers, and that was a lot to me at that time. And now I'm so internet famous. <laughs> 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 I'm well, I mean, after everybody saw our boobs, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'll be as naked as you want on the internet. I do not care. <laughs> okay, nasty woman right here. <laughs> know anything about it when on the show, but then I, my first convention, I came out and I was convinced you all thought I was someone else. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I'm like, what? You for someone behind God, you? God, I've got really bad news for you. <laughs> really bad news for you. I'm not Sam Smith. <laughs> like, thank you for that, but I'm just, I'm just Kim Rose. Like, no, 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 me Kim Rose. Is there another Kim Rose? Like, seriously, people are like, what? Yeah, I, I had a pretty interesting transition. So once once I got on the show, I didn't really know about the fandom. I remember Jared mentioning about fan conventions, but like not knowing what creation was or what that meant. I just thought it was like, oh yeah, like the Comic Con events. Um, and the my first episode aired, and I watched it with my roommates. And then there was this moment where I started recognizing the posters of Jared Jensen Misha on the walls that have been there for like two years. Your apartment walls. That, well, at this house that I've been living in for two years. Um, turns out, my roommates are, were hardcore Supernatural fans. <laughs> and I had no idea. <laughs> so, there was this transition where they're just, we're like, we don't know how to act around each other. <laughs> But then I was like, no, we've known each other for years, this is weird, so let's just 
you know, go back to normal again. And they just kind of explained the whole fandom to me, and, you know, it, it was a really smooth transition because of that. Yeah, they, like, just binged watched the entire show, like, right before I was on it, and they didn't even know I was on it, because it wasn't, like, just, like, another show that I worked on for me. So it was, yeah, it was, it was fun. <laughs> You were house famous after that. <laughs> oh yeah. I still remember seeing, like, what's Jared doing on your wall? <laughs> I like, did it click in my head. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Um, thank you for letting me sing with you at karaoke last night. It was our pleasure. Yeah, it was and fun. I loved the sweater. You looked great. Thank you. Um, my question is, if you could send your characters anywhere on vacation, where would you want them to go? Why are you guys asking such a hard question? It's <laughs> true. Where Kevin did go on vacation. He went to Branson. <laughs> he went to a porn convention. <laughs> I'd like Jody to do the same thing. <laughs> porn convention. You know what? I think Kevin, Jody, and Donna are going to a porn convention. <laughs> I heard there's one in town. <laughs> Research. <laughs> I also think Donna, I think she could, it would be funny to see her just like let loose in Havana or something. <laughs> just like too many margaritas, <laughs> dancing by herself on the dance floor, cute Latinos eyeing her up. I know, I can't, I have to. This is who I am. <laughs> Um, I was going to say that actually does sound like Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I mean, you. In all honesty, I'd like to see Jody all by herself on a beach. Those like little huts. Just no one. No bullshit to deal with. Just nothing besides the sound of the water and maybe an otter. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.